His tweets have the power to shape international relations, and stock prices a pour down and galvanize the American public. We're watching how Donald Trump is using this platform of unfettered communication now that he's commander-in-chief. Here is everything Trump has tweeted since he was sworn in as 45th President of the United States. In many cases, we look at what he was reacting to and whether what he said was accurate. And, as much as possible, we'll relate what else was going on at the time. Check back for more as Trump continues to tweet. Trump says Obamacare is dead. Republicans will do much better in the midst of the Republican push to pass legislation overhauling the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare. President Trump tweeted that he wants to make the United States healthcare system the best anywhere. A GOP-backed health care bill narrowly passed the House this month but faces difficult prospects in the Senate, where many leaders expressed deep reservations about the potential that Americans will lose their health care coverage under the measure. An analysis by the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office found the legislation would nearly double the number of people in the U.S. without health insurance over the next decade and projected that many additional consumers would see skimpier health coverage and higher deductibles. The House bill would be particularly harmful to older, sicker residents of states that waive key consumer protections in the current law, including the ban on insurers charging sick consumers more. Insurance markets in states that dropped Obamacare protection would become unstable after 2020, the budget office warned. It wasn't immediately clear what the president meant by his suggestion to add more dollars to health care. His budget plan released this past Tuesday calls for a multi-billion dollar reduction in future spending on Medicaid and does not propose new health care spending. In his tweet, Trump also declared Obamacare to be dead, echoing statements he's made in the past and underscoring a key White House claim that Obamacare insurance marketplaces are collapsing on their own. Instead, according to many officials, it is the Trump administration that is driving much of the current instability by refusing to commit to steps to keep the markets running, such as funding aid for low-income consumers or enforcing penalties for people who go without insurance. Senate Republicans face growing pressure to sidestep the White House and ensure the administration won't let the health insurance markets collapse. In addition to working on their own legislation to roll back Obamacare, They've also begun to discuss the more short-term fix to stabilize the markets over the next several years.